at the police. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, should we start out well? I start out with they live. <laughs> Put on the sunglasses, put on the sunglasses. Gang, let's do movie review of They Live from 1988. You you would have to have been crawling, you know, under a rock for the last... Since the movie came out, really, but there's a lot of people that are much younger than me. So let's say you would have had to been living under a rock for the last 20 years. If you don't know the importance of this movie okay incredibly important movie groundbreaking movie in terms of uh, challenging a society right the per perception of people's what society is phenomenal in terms of impact it would be on the same level of george orwell's 1984 aldous huxley's brave new world right uh, Goofy X recently watched Dune 2. Have you seen? No, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. <coughs> no, it's not available <coughs> where I usually watch my movies. <laughs> Laugh out loud. JI42. Salutations, good people. Salutations, salutations. Straf 1977 on Rumble Pie is an extremely underrated movie. And this is coming from someone that isn't a fan of most of Or Oronofsky's work. It, it must have been like the third or fourth time I saw it. it it's well, let's talk about they live. We'll talk about pie as soon as we start talking about pie. The movie aged well, the movie aged, they live aged phenomenally. Phenomenally. Oh god, I saw it at an art cinema in 1990. Nice, nice, nice. I saw it in the theaters too, pretty sure, anyway. But but I've seen it so many times now, I can't remember when, when the first time was. First time, Jack, Jack, MP3. Uh, great editing great editing and great dialogue very engaging and great quiet times during the movie which which was fantastic right which was fantastic uh someone you know m some musicians uh, say music isn't the notes you hear it's what's between the notes right same with uh uh, many things really even education I, I know that from experience teaching my students uh they live had amazing quiet moments right amazing quiet moments plutonic plurus hello all salutations Aligat chicho i am still looking for it they live what do you mean uh catchphrase they live we sleep they live we sleep what do you mean the catchphrase they live, they live. Oh, Dune 2. Oh, you're still looking for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> where I watch it <clears throat> usually, <clears throat> uh, a good quality isn't available yet. <laughs> but amazing qualities are available for They Live, right? Uh, so, phenomenal movie, gang. Phenomenal movie. And I didn't, uh, uh bookmark uh you know the the info on the movie the directors and stuff like this i don't even know here let's do a little they live i go to imdb to do my do my thingamajigas i should have bookmarked each of the movies to tell you the truth but john john carpenter okay director writers is jay uh, nelson and john carpenter stars are Rodney Piper, Keith David, Meg Foster. Uh, and the catchphrase on this is on IMDb anyway. It says, they influence our decisions without us knowing it. They numb us our senses without us feeling it. They control our lives without us realizing it. They live. What does that sound like, gay? What does that sound like? Right? Hmm. 2024 this movie was made 2024 padre 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 how are you doing hey dudes john carpenter made some good ones yeah john carpenter made some fantastic movies the thing is another one right i'm pretty sure that's john carpenter 
right? Pop will eat itself. 75 on Sensor 2. Such a good move. Such a good film. Such a good film. Such a good film. Oh God, they live was based on a short story called Eight O'Clock Eight O'Clock in the Morning. Really? I didn't know that. But it wasn't a short story by Carpenter, was it? It was an adaptation. Right? Straf 177 on a rumble they live has aged so well that the director is upset with some of the conclusions that people have drawn from it in recent years yeah one one thing i did i saw an interview of john carpenter from that period and he was really trash talking uh, the reagan administration uh the uh the while well, the reagan administration really right and then bush coming in and stuff so the republican party in 19 uh in the 1980s what they were doing to society um and he he considered they live to be sort of a reflection of where they wanted to take it but if you look at the present the sort of tag teaming this is the uniparty thing right so there was a period in time in canada united states and stuff well where certain sect people really navigated towards one party or another party depending on the draconian laws and the fascism <laughs> rolling out now it's just one party so the criticism of uh, or the critique of some artists musicians politicians and stuff or journalists or philosophers and stuff that they really went off on certain group in their society uh, according party party affiliation didn't age well but their message aged well which is really it's something weird uh, to wrap your head around because there are still some people from that era that still associate certain evils only with a certain party and they have a really hard time looking in the mirror and going we're it right where are you from i'm from canada west coast of canada uh, pop is asking on sensor two da, 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 da. uh mr chang did you watch do part two yet not yet <laughs> that's gonna come up on all the stuff <laughs> buddy uh uh john carver's christine christine's amazing christine's amazing uh da, 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 da. uh empty lebo lebut uh I always watch my movies in excellent quality for twenty-four dollars at the cinema as well. <laughs> Hilarious, Plutonic Flores. They they live twenty twenties officially approved version were quote they they are the good guys and fight against sunglass disinformation. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Cancel culture, hardcore. Padre, padre, padre. I like when the resistance leader hacks into the TV broadcast. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> he showed his face, though. Like, oh, don't do that. Cameras everywhere. Now, anyway, they find you, Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, Pop is asking on Sensor uh, Did you like the thing? I love the thing. The thing is phenomenal. Phenomenal, man. I, I watched it in the theater a lot like when it first came out i i like the thing i love the aliens as well they came out around the same time uh, but i like the thing more than aliens even though i love aliens as well lots of quiet moments in there too yeah yeah lots of quiet moments oh my god the movie is about class and control through advertising i think it's more in advertising uh in my opinion oh my god rattle faraday Code Ray Nielsen is an American science fiction author and cartoonist, most famous for his 1963 short story, Eight O'Clock in the Morning. Oh, wow! Which was later used by Jar Carpenter as the basis for his 1988 film, They Live. I did not know that. Super cool, super cool. Adropolis, what about the fight scene in They Live with uh, Roddy Piper trying to get the other guy to put on the sunglasses? Yeah, yeah, in the alley, right? And that's one of the things that was going around in the last four years. People were cutting that part out and saying anybody that questioned authority mandates uh, regarding personal 
bodily autonomy and going against the Nuremberg Code, anybody that questioned authority, the people were considering them to be crazy. And you could bring as much proof as you wanted to those people who took their injections up the fucking shoot, right? You could show them proof up the yin yang up the yin yang showing that some of these companies that were pushing these injections were the companies that have been fined the most in our societies right the most in our societies more than any other company for doing wrong lying cheating stealing right you could brought those proofs you could brought any proof up because we tried it many of us tried it you try to put those effing sunglasses on their faces and say look mofo look mofo what's going on right and if you don't know you haven't watched this movie please watch the movie watch the part in the alley well where rodney piper is trying to put on the sunglasses on his friend right say just put this on man you'll see you'll see what's going on and the guy's saying no i want to be blind I don't want to see what you see because if i see what you see my world will be turned upside down i don't want to see it i don't want to see it out and they fight they just fight fight beat the crap out of each other right finally the guy puts on the sunglasses forces his friend to put on the sun puts the sunglasses on for them right and within two seconds the guy goes oh shit, what's going on right some people that actually happened to them in the last couple of years after they took their injections right but very few have put on those sunglasses very few have put on those sunglasses as far as i'm concerned anyway so that clip was going around online for the last three four years right hardcore put on the sunglasses put on the sunglasses mofo and people nope nope we ain't gonna do it the most important scene in the movie some would say right plutonic as john carpenter seem to have had uh left liberal uh conversational political uh pers personality the movie and the story of it is going beyond that which makes it good yeah agreed 100 percent 100 percent crummy vcr on sensor tube because they can't phantom being the villain so it in their mind they justify options as fact laugh out loud it's really funny it's really crazy it's really crazy it's really crazy crummy vcr uh, for they live uh, why put on the glasses when you uh, medicate yourself to a, a sedated coma yeah P. Higgs, she, uh, hello, Chicho. I watched Pi. I don't remember what the other movies were. Uh, we're going to go through them. One of them is this one, They Live. Couldn't get past the beginning of Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, uh, was that the first time you're watching it, P. Higgs? But we'll talk about Lord of the Rings. Oh, the God, the fight. The fight is a metaphor. The fight is a metaphor. Laugh out loud. Uh, any. Big trouble in little China pass 100 percent Fantastic. I've seen that movie, I don't know how many times. I loved it so funny. I loved it as a kid. I loved it as a young adult. I loved it as a middle-aged person. I loved it as old as I am now. I'm gonna love it until the day I die. The comic books, I got the comic books as well. Straff on uh, Rumble. Da, da, da. Straff on Rumble, and the thing might be my favorite horror movie of all time. Fantastic! I love the thing. I agree with you, Straff. Strafe Carpenter is a prime example of a director who was amazing in the 1980s but started losing his touch in the 1990s. Uh, uh, Mr. Chang, thoughts on Christopher Nolan and Dennis Villeneuve? Uh, thoughts on current state of um, we can talk about this after we talk about the movies. Uh, uh, Marvel is uh, Mar DC did shit with the movies, and Marvel started off good, but man, the woke the woke agenda is killing them, right? As we knew they would, 
right? As we need to, but they're following the cycle of comic books in general, right? Comic books sometimes they have an amazing time, they bad, boom, 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 right? Uh, Elder God, Nada struggled to convince his friend of the truth, and yes, COVID and the injections is definitely related, definitely related, right? T three A Chicho, it's a great movie. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dune two, Dune two. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, nada means nothing in Spanish. Oh, nada means nothing in Spanish. Same as Nemo, and Neo as a single person. Nada was us all. He thought for human. He fought for humanity. Oh, I didn't make that connection. What? Elegant analyzing the crap that they they live. Nice nice uh padre he usually does have some deep messages in movies yeah yeah chris carpenter oh god one more thing the first dialogue in the film is quote they are controlling us end quote by a blind preacher yeah oh standing in the corner that's right he comes in later on too he's the one they're beating up before he is arrested by the police he screams quote wake up Please wake up, end quote, showing a sense of urgency to the movie timeline. I'd like to sit down. Like, if I was taking a movie class, they live would be one of the ones I would love to see and uh, analyze, right? But I'm pretty sure movie, movie uh, in liberal, in a lot of colleges and universities, people paid a lot of money to analyze they live, <laughs> write papers on it. Padre, the opening scene uh, in The Frog is a really cool one to me. J in The Fog, yeah, The Fog. Uh, just an old guy telling a ghost story on the campfire. Oh, I don't remember the opening scene of The Fog. The Fog was really good, by the way. I really liked it. It was, it was depressing, right? Very depressing. Strafe. DC was dead on arrival. And Marvel has been going downhill for quite some time now. Yeah, agreed, agreed. DC, oh man. Br brutal. Brutal some of the movies they put out. Wish they could do better. They could they could come make a comeback if they ever made a legit Lobo movie. Padre, do you think there's a Matrix genre? in the movies now probably yeah they live as one of them right for sure i couldn't remember da, da, da. yes i've never been uh, a big tv or movie person higgs says on sensor tube i just need more ganja to enjoy that type of thing at least since my late 20s i don't think i may uh, start trying out anime. Oh, I do think I'm a dude. Start trying out anime. Anime is amazing. Anime is my favorite genre of visual entertainment. Like, really. Because they tell some of the most amazing stories, right? They're not bound by uh, as much, as many sensors. Uh, there's way more diverse stuff out there. It, it's amazing. Amazing. Uh, Edio, Edio police what is the meaning of they live in 2017 in response to a neo-nazi interpretation of the film's theme carpenter further clarified that the film quote is about yuppies and unrestrained capitalism end quote and quote has nothing to do with jewish control of world end quote yeah i, I assume that's what the message was from the beginning of uh, they live it's about capitalism but i i but I think it was more in capitalism. I think it maybe he thought the secret institutions that are uh, ruling over us or controlling society were yuppies. But I think it's clear now that they're secret societies uh, that are on boards of directors of multiple companies and controlling multiple governments, right? And they are really if carpenter called them yuppies i can't see them calling them yuppies but i guess so whatever and he's calling that capitalism but i think his art has uh has gone beyond him beyond his understanding right like look at uh who's that horror writer stephen king right look at stephen king 
his his stories phenomenal in terms of horror and a little bit of sci-fi but horror and stuff like this but he he turned into a total clown right <laughs> on the level of schwarzenegger and uh neil uh what's his name the kiss singer and stuff like this if you know what i'm talking about right that's on google yeah the, the, in an interview john carpenter from 1980s talked about this saying that they live was about capitalism reagan and uh, bush and you know blah 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 but i think i think his art has surpassed him in, in my opinion hey this japanese storytelling is a little different from the west as far as i it's uh it varies it varies on the storyteller hicks uh amazing inception goofy's uh mentioning inception have we talked what we want to talk about uh, for they live should we go on to inception uh, strafe uh, uh it's a shame that roddy piper never had a starring role in another big film because the man cannot he did phenomenal man he could have like he should have had way more roles I agree with you and he did phenomenal and he could have done so much more i'm not sure what the deal was why he was he then wasn't given any major roles again uh, maybe he talked too much right mr chang secret societies in the name of zionist globalist in the name of a globalist period i would say i think zionist would be a faction of it neocon is another faction uh corporatist globalist is another faction it's just they're different factions oh inception we talked about before i personally didn't like inception I would, a goofy uh said inception i thought it was mentioning interstellar uh elder god another thing nada's story about his father in the hotel room was an analogy of the control of the government over time oh i gotta remember that story padre i guess there is i just don't know if they're really been cataloged yeah i i, I wonder if uh, imdb has a search for it be on sensor tube hello from ireland salutations ireland hope you're doing well hope you're doing well tenet uh mr chang i like tenet better than inception uh on rumble uh mr chang is asking uh, oh god the revolution used religious places to hide in plain sight showing capitalism doesn't care about religion yeah it was everywhere 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 lonely piggy salutations hope you're doing well elder god a long time ago uh things were different man my old daddy ah here's a story uh, my old daddy took me down to the river kicked my ass told me about the power and the glory i i was saved he changed when i was little turned me and started tearing tearing at me so i ran away when i was 13. he tried to cut me once big old razor blade held it up against my throat got news for him they're gonna be hell to pay because i ain't daddy's little boy no more nice <laughs> nice it's a great movie man it's a great movie fantastic strafe honestly i wouldn't be surprised if roddy piper was given the uh, mel gibson treatment by hollywood yeah 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 but mel gibson was lucky he had enough funds to fund his own projects right mr chang do you think disney can come back after woke uh, disaster uh they they might at some point yeah they might at some point but not in this iteration i, I think there needs to be a serious reset but disney is an evil company right personally i hope they go bankrupt and they sell off all their assets so decentralize disney's property rights the ips right so there needs to be a reset to a certain degree uh platonic players they live a white working class man and a black man together against a power grabbing elite that is uh that is a group of its own and has collaborators 
2024 2024 2024 I'm here to just Trey for saying the quote I'm here I'm here I'm here to chew chew ass and kick bubble gum I'm here to chew bubble gum kick some ass and I'm all out of ass <laughs> are you rephrasing it hilarious hilarious next movie oh let me read a couple more things comments here's one on sensor tube crummy vcr piper was told he wasn't a good fit for most roles because he he had very strong views about things yeah yeah that'll fuck you up in hollywood right you better bend over and put on that lady's dress and have that inauguration happening uh initiation happening with you right Tano, salutations to Greece, salutations from the west coast of Canada, from an Armenian brother to a Greek. Image Commerce decentralized, I think. Yeah, Image Commerce decentralized, just a platform l label that they printed off. Everybody owns their own rights and stuff like this. I'm sure uh, that how it went. Ch -ch -ch -ta 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 -ta. Plutonic Pluris, and the story is about government control over time. Padre, and the story is about government control over time. Plutonic was betrayed by a white liberal woman. <laughs> oh, I didn't even connect that. <laughs> but could have been a man too, of course. Both sexes and genders have their weaknesses. Oh, I didn't even think about that part. Everybody sees it from a certain lens, right? Everyone sees it from a certain lens. awesome gang let's go to the next movie let's go to the next movie so what are the ratings for they live i give they live a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 drop your numbers right now because before we take this down we've got to do our numbers what's everyone's ratings on it i say 10 out of 10 elder god is 8 out of 10 eight of god is 8 out of 10 crummy vcr cheers from croatia croatia salutations salutations uh Andropolis goes 7.3. Goofy goes 8. Real Xeno Wharf is 9. Padre says Carpenter put a lot in the which he didn't intend. It seems. Laugh out loud. 10 out of 10. Uh, Pink QB says 9 out of 10. Crummy VCR says 10 out of 10. Uh, Clumsy Comics, Australia. Salutations, salutations. We got Greece. We got Australia. We got Croatia. We got, we got, we got somewhere else too. We got UK. That we know. We got Ireland going on. We got the United States uh, going on. I don't know where else we got going on. So basically, average. We're talking uh, eight and a half, nine out of ten, right? So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? Uh, Plutonic Forest got to switch to the Rumble. Very slow laptop again. So I'll, I'll I'll be reading the Rumble chat too. I got that open. Gang, let's take They Live Down. Highly recommended movie. Which movie should we look into? Let's go 